Um, nothing major was said. You know, we we knew what it was going to take. Just go out and execute. You know, um, offensively we we're moving the ball great. We just didn't finish how we need to finish in the red zone. And uh, you know, that's got to that's got to get better. Obviously, um, defense was playing good. Gave up a couple big plays, but other than that, you know, they're stopping them. So um, <clears throat> there was no panic. There was no worry. You know, we we knew. We were in this game. We were getting the ball coming out of half. Offensively, we knew we needed to come out and, and make plays and go put points on the board. And uh, we were able to do that. And right when we did that, obviously, we were right back in the game. Eight targets, six receptions for Julio Jones. That's less than 20%. What was it about? You got to give him credit for the deep pass protection. What was the purpose of that? Yeah, he made some huge plays, obviously. Um, the big one, I don't know if that was the first one or not, but um, you know, saw something on the sideline, made the adjustment. Told him about it, and uh, it paid off. He, he got open, got open down down the field, and then uh, was running. Was able to hit him there. Um, a couple big plays. You know, the the one that got called back was it was a huge play. That's a play that uh, we expect to be completed later, or further across the field. But I was getting hit, so got the ball out early there, and he, he was able to make the adjustment and go up. Obviously, a blade of grass away from from a touchdown there. A um, couple big third down catches. I think one early where he's on an end cut and threw the ball high. It was, it was pretty covered, uh, but threw the ball where he could go up and get it. And um, he attacked the football, came down with it. So, um, you know, once I saw him make that play, I, I uh, felt like, you know, he's, he's rolling and uh, it was going to be a good day for him. Yeah, what was it like here? Like, was it kind of just the next match? Like, was that kind of just like you knew everything? Like, okay, this is, we're here now. This is where we need to be. Yeah, no doubt. Obviously, when you see a guy make a play like that where it's tight coverage, it's not a big window. You're, it's a trust throw, really, for him to go up and get it. When, when you make that trust throw and your guy makes the play, it definitely builds that trust, right? And, and you get in that situation again, and you feel strongly about uh, about giving him a chance with the ball. So, obviously, uh, made some huge plays for us today, and it took a big step forward uh, for our offense. Yeah. Yeah, we're heading in that direction. Obviously, you know, first half wasn't what we expect. Like I said, we moved the ball, but didn't finish in the red zone. That's been a, a calling card for us. So we need to be able to finish those drives, especially when you play good teams uh, like Seattle. You know, it can come back to haunt you. So uh, got to get that cleaned up. But uh, I was proud of our guys. We battled, right? We, we, were, we were pushing piles. We were running the football. Derek was running extremely hard. Uh, you could feel it on the field, uh, uh, the synergy of our offense kind of coming together. Uh, and. Uh, you know, playing to our identity. So um, there's a lot to get better, but as far as coming together as a unit, making plays, trusting each other, and playing to our identity, I felt like we took a step in the right direction today. Andrew, right on that point, was there also maybe one of the Todd today, you know, getting into a groove and the ball going from the second half to really kind of stepping up a little bit? Did you feel like that phase was a step as well? Was that a lot there to stand your ground? Yeah, no doubt. Um, you know, Really, the, the whole team, uh, Todd included, Vrabel included, I think we all took a step in the right direction. Um, felt like Todd tried to, called a really good game. Had some, some big adjustments on the sideline that paid off. Uh, communication was great. You know, players are talking, talking to Todd. Um, it was great to work with, uh, making those adjustments, and uh, they paid off for us. So, um, definitely a step in the right direction. Just have to build on it. Yeah, I told him I'm going to keep throwing him, keep throwing it to him. You know, I have a lot of faith in AJ, and I told him I'm going to keep com coming to him. So I did that. You know, just just kept throwing his way, and uh, if I felt like he had an edge on the guy, I'm, I'm going to let it rip like I always um, trust him. You know, so just because the guy you know misses a couple plays or or something like that, you know, I'm not going to uh, to cancel him out. You know, I have a ton of faith in AJ. He's, AJ's made huge plays for us, made big plays today, obviously. Um, you know, some plays he wants back, but there's some plays that everybody wants back. You know, there's plays I want back, Derek wants back, O line wants back. You know, it's um, an imperfect game. So obviously, a lot of things we need to get get corrected. But uh, I have a lot of faith in, in AJ that he'll bounce back. You talked about you know, just protecting protecting the ball since since you've been here as three in the first two games. What's it like for the sideline and, and your coverage and and O'Connor as you discussed? I was fine. Um, not a lot I can do on that one. Got hit in the back of the head uh, as I was, I came off the backer sink under AJ. 
I was coming off him about to flip it out to Derek. Um, so, yeah, it sucks, but uh, I'm not going to go in the tank over something that uh, that I can't control. And even if I if I could, um, you have to turn the page. You know, if you get hung up on any one play, whether it's good or bad in the game, it's going to hold you back the rest of the game. So, um, whether it's a, a touchdown drive and you're coming off the field happy, or a turnover and, and everyone's pissed off, uh, you have to be able to reset on the sideline and go out ready for the next drive. You know, even one of these routes per se, but when they rough you at a convenient time and you don't wind up first, is there a bit of, uh, I mean, they give you a, four, a free first down there on the 15 yard, so what's the, what's the line there in terms of, oh, good, they made their <laughs> Yeah, there's no, uh, I don't think there's ever a good time to be rough, but, uh, when it, when it moves the chains, I'm not, and I'm not injured. I, uh, I'm not against it for sure. I mean, that's just part of, you know, playing by the rules, knowing knowing the rules, playing by the rules. We talk about it on our team, um, and know it's important. So, um, you know, there was a couple couple today that, that helped us out. You talked about it just kind of being in and out of the rain at the end of the week. What was, what was kind of going through your mind as you started out here with a field goal, and how happy were you to see it go through? Yeah, total confidence. You know, obviously, um, like you said, good to have another Aggie around. Uh, had a lot of familiarity with Randy, held for him for four years in college, and uh, when he trotted out there, I had a total confidence he was going to make that kick. Ryan, how strong was it to see him land that way in the fourth quarter? It was hurt, and uh, you know, what does that mean in the draft process? And then what did you think about Ty and then later Aaron on that left side as they were able to do to that? Yeah, it's a game of adversity. <laughs> um, usually the adversity happens within the, the confines of the clock, but uh, today it started in pregame. So, um, yeah, not the, not the news I was looking for as I was getting ready to go warm up, but uh, I walked over to Ty and I said, hey, you know, same thing like last year. You know, no, uh, what did I say, uh, no warning. You just got to go in and, and play your game, play fast and aggressive and, and uh, push piles. So um, a lot of confidence in him. I felt like he came in and, and did that. And uh, I'm proud of him. And then Brewer comes in. You know, Roger goes down. Roger tried to come back in, battled, um, but ended up coming up again. So Brewer comes in, a guy that, that I have a lot of confidence in. He's uh, he's a competitor, and uh, obviously did a good job for us. Thank you. Thank you.